Hi everyone, welcome to my second video for this week. Today I'm going to be working on turning the concept of the painting you saw me do in my previous video into a t-shirt design. As you probably can see, this video is sponsored by Skillshare and I've been using their extensive collection of online courses to get to better grips with the software I'm going to be using to create the design and that is Procreate. I have been wanting to create t-shirt designs for a while now. I've never really taken the time to create a design specifically made to go onto a t-shirt. In the past I've tended to like take one of my existing drawing or painting, contour it, remove the background, isolate the main concept in the piece and then just paste that onto one of the t-shirt templates on my Redbubble store. That's pretty much the extent I've gone through to create t-shirts so far, but I've always wanted to just sit down and take some time to properly design something to be a t-shirt. So now I want to take everything a step further than I have in the past and actually pick out a concept that I really like in my work. So in this particular case, it'll be the character with the birds tied to its neck and work on that idea and turn it into something that would work well on a t-shirt. I want it done digitally just because that helps a lot with speed. Designs like that are things that go through a lot of different iterations, a lot of different modifications. So working digitally just streamlines the process and saves me a lot of time and trouble and also means that the design will be as crisp and clean as it can be. So. The first thing I'm going to do is work out a basic composition with some thumbnails. So let's set that up. So actually I think that's something that could be interesting with thumbnails is to draw them out on the shape of a t-shirt, so like on a t-shirt template, just to see how the shape works how I can maybe try and play with the shape of the t-shirt to fit the design in a way that is engaging and fun. I might look up some t-shirt templates images on Google and see if I can like, paste them into my, um, my thumbnail template and see how that works out. So let's do that. Once I had my t-shirt template image set up, I decided to experiment with the images of my concept I already had. I first used a photograph of my painting and superimposed it over my template, and I played around with it to see which elements of it might work for my final t-shirt design and which I might want to get rid of. I liked the fact that the birds were hovering above the character in this composition, but the character's pose was a little too awkward looking if I was to remove the background since the character is kind of leaning on the window and I don't want any window or external elements in my final design. So I also played around with my original sketchbook sketch as the character in that one is simpler and I wanted to see if having just the bust of the person in the design would work better. I decided in the end I wanted the character to have a self-contained pose, not leaning on anything like in the painting, but also not cut off weirdly at the bottom like in the sketch. So I used one of my research sketches from when I was creating my painting and used that as a base to create a pose that felt more natural while also balancing the composition well. I then sketched out a very rough design and played around with the poses and placement of the birds until I had something I was satisfied with. Once I got to a point I liked, it was time to finalise the line work. For any of you interested, I've only ever used the basic brushes in Procreate so far, and for this particular inking process I used the technical pen in the inking category in the brush library. But first, I did another more detailed rough sketch with the 6B pencil.
Once I was done with the line work, it was time to start experimenting with colour. So that didn't work. Um, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed the process of trying to colour that sketch. Um, I learned a lot just by doing that, but I don't know. I like the simplicity of just the line art, you know? I, I like how minimalistic it looks. Generally speaking, whenever I've looked at my work and thought this would make a good t-shirt design, I'd usually been looking at one of my Inktober drawings, so something that's quite minimalistic in style, black and white, line art only, that kind of thing. So here's what I've decided. I'm not going to include colour on those t-shirt designs for the time being. I'll keep experimenting and keep learning and see if I can do something I like in the future, but for now I'm going to keep this design a more or less line art. I have two colour schemes, one for light coloured t-shirts, which is basically just a line art in black with the thread in red. And I have one design for dark coloured t-shirts which is filled in in white um, and has an outline in red. When I was sketching it all out I liked the idea of the design kind of extending onto the sleeves and some of the birds maybe flying off on the sleeves. I like the idea of having a bird around the collar just framing it with its wings extended. Right now I am restricted to red bubble for where I can put my t-shirt designs. I'm hoping to change that in the future but for now that's where I'm at. So unfortunately Redbubble doesn't really have any templates that extend onto the sleeves. Most of their t-shirt designs stay to the torso for the area that you can print on. So I just made the design a little bit smaller and adjusted it depending on their templates. But I now have the digital design, it's easy enough to update digitally if I want to tweak it. So in the future if I have any t-shirts I can actually extend the designs of onto the sleeves, then I feel like that can be quite cool. I don't know. But anyway, that's where I'm at. I am quite happy with it. Um, it's a bit of a mix between my sketches and my painting. I took the things I liked from each and kind of jumbled all of them into a sort of new composition. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I learned tons from just drawing on Procreate, to be honest. I did have to seek the help of a few courses um, on Skillshare <laughs> because I don't know much about Procreate and it turns out that there are a lot of ways of going around things that are much easier than what I used to do. <laughs> so things like clipping masks and reference layers and stuff I didn't know anything about until I learned about them. To help me out with learning about Procreate I used two courses on Skillshare but they have tons of courses on Procreate. Like I think it's probably one of the most prolific art subjects on there because it's just there were so many. I didn't know much about Procreate going into this. I've only really used it for very rough things that didn't need to be finished products so I could go about it in a bit of a random way but in order for this illustration to work out I felt I needed to know a bit more about the, the program. So I used two courses on Skillshare to learn more about it and get more familiar with it and have it work with me rather than against me. I mainly used Digital Illustrations Learn How to Use Procreate by Jerome Vogel, which is basically an all-round introduction to the program and its features. And then I also used Texturing Illustrations in Procreate by Jamie Bartlett which taught me a bit more about creating your own brushes and textures and that kind of thing, which I think will probably come in really useful in the future when I want to give my illustration a little bit more of a traditional art look type of thing. If you'd like to check out these courses, I'll put a link to them in the description below. And since this video is sponsored by Skillshare, there's also a link in the description that gives you two months of premium membership for free. So you can check out the course I talked about and 
all the other ones they have on there too for free for two months and then if you decide to extend your subscription longer than that it's not very expensive anyway i have a lot of hobbies and so i find that browsing skillshare always brings up more information that i didn't know about the different things i'm interested in so if you're interested in learning more about the things that you love uh, or discovering new things you love too that works too then i recommend skillshare it's not very expensive it's a pretty friendly platform and you don't even have to commit to anything right now because you have the two free months with the code in my description so make sure you check that out that being said i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video i know it was a bit random but i felt like doing something different i really like the concept for this painting i just created and I want to do several different things with it and t-shirt designs are one thing. I know I'll explore t-shirt designs in the future. I have a list of all the things I want to turn into t-shirts. Um, <laughs> so this experiment right now allowed me to get a better understanding of what the process of turning a concept into a shirt will take. So that was really good and I look forward to creating more and I hope that you all enjoy them too. The t-shirt is on Redbubble, by the way, if you're interested. <laughs> um, I didn't create the video to sell you t-shirts. I initially didn't want to put it up for sale on Redbubble because I didn't think I would come up with something I like. But since I have, then it's available. Do whatever you want with that information. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll have a new video for you in July. Keep an eye on your notifications, subscribe, all that, all that. Uh, you can also subscribe to my newsletter. I have a newsletter now, it's on my website and it's very rare. <laughs> I won't send you many emails but I will send emails once I have new videos and stuff like that. So yeah, um, that's it. I'm rambling now so I'm going to leave you here <laughs> and I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you very soon. Bye everyone.